Hello, I'm Ross, I work at Rive, and today I'm going to be taking you through scrolling, which is part of our much larger layouts feature. So first thing I'm going to do is just reduce the width of this artboard and then add a child layout. I'm going to highlight this layout and call it Viewport. This will be our highest level layout, and so I want to just uh, delete the background there. And I want to keep these settings as fill. I want this highest level layout to fill the artboard. Although I will add a little bit of padding. Now I'm going to add a child layout. You can see the padding working very well. I'm going to open this one up and call this content. For this, I'm going to remove the background as well. I'm happy that my content layout is currently filling the width of the viewport, but I also want it to hug the height of the content within it. Currently, it can't hug anything because there's no content. So let's make some content. Add child layout. And now we have some content. Let's set that to hug. Let's make sure that our content layout is set to column, which it uh, already is. And then with this piece of content, I'm happy that it fills the width of the content layout. However, I want to fix its height to a little rectangle like that. Then I can change the corner radius. And now because the content is within a column, I can highlight content one and just duplicate it. And it arranges itself in a nice little column. I can highlight the content layout and I can add a vertical gap in between all the pieces of content. So my content layout is hugging the height of all of that content. And my viewport layout is filling the size of the artboard, which means that up here I can clip whatever artwork we have within our viewport. So with content highlighted, I'll go over here to constraints, press plus, scroll. You can see we have a whole bunch of settings. I want the scroll direction to be vertical, obviously, because we have a column. And let's just uh, try this out. Tab to open the state machine and press play. Now I can drag whatever I want. We also have elasticity on the ends of all of the uh, content, just like that. And that's pretty cool. Let's go back into the scroll settings and I'm going to turn on snap. So now with snap in place, I can scroll and then wherever I let go of the content, it will always align with the top of the viewport, unless you go all the way down, in which case uh, it doesn't align. But wherever else you go, it will align with the uh, top of the viewport, which is pretty cool as well. Just going to close this and then highlight viewport. And because the viewport is set to a row, I can add a child layout and the newly created child layout will appear side by side with the content. Now with viewport highlighted, I can add a horizontal gap in between the two bits of content and I'm going to highlight the layout and just change its width. So now the width turns into a fixed amount and the height is still filling the viewport. I'm going to call this scroll bar and then I'm going to change the background color to black. And then I'm going to give this scroll bar layout some content. So add child layout. I'll call this child layout uh, dot. I will leave it filling the width of the scroll bar layout, but I'm going to change the height to a fixed amount. And I'll turn it into just um, a little dot like that. Now I'm going to highlight the dot, go down to constraints, press plus, and click scroll bar. Now in the scroll bar settings, I will set the target to be the content. And you can see that the dot has increased in size. Let me just uh, change the corner radius to something nice and round. And now if I press play, I can control the scrolling with the scroll bar. And I can still also just scroll manually like that. And when we go too far, the scroll bar uh, changes size in both directions. It's pretty cool. But remember, this is Rive. You don't have to use rectangles. You can use any art that you want and you can scroll in any direction that you want. And let us know if you have any questions.